Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Merry Christmas Eve or Merry Christmas, depending on when you're watching this video. And I just wanted to go ahead and shout out all of the subscribers and audience members, people who watch these videos, whether you're subscribed or not. If you've commented on this channel or ever participated, I just wanted to say thank you for this year. You guys have been quite amazing. I started this channel a while ago just as a side project. But you guys have made it a reality with your conversations and discussions around the DC games and even sometimes the Marvel games as well. Anyways, this video is going to be short because I wanted to highlight something very interesting to spark a conversation. I really want this to be more of a comment section style forum in terms of what this video is about. And that is the most interesting thing about Gotham Knights and the Suicide Squad game. And that is the universe that they're being set in. So first of all, the Suicide Squad game is being set in the Arkhamverse. That is the Arkhamverse that was developed by Rocksteady in their storytelling with Arkham Asylum, Arkham City, and Arkham Knight. And even Warner Brothers' Montreal's Arkham Origins is also in that universe. You have villains that are kind of the same, villains that kind of had some story and plot lines. And even if it was the third game in the series and made by a different studio, it somewhat just highlights a, a specific side of the story that introduces the villains and all of the above to kind of complement what Rocksteady had already done. Now, in terms of Gotham Knights, Warner Brothers Games Montreal has decided to go, you know, basically with a whole different direction, an entirely different universe where Jim Gordon is dead and Batman is presumed dead. And the Robin, even in this case, is a younger Tim, Tim Drake, um, you know, and then you also have Barbara Gordon. You, you have the other knights who are basically still, uh, you know, the same, but kind of told in a different way. Like if you look very closely at the beginning of the Gotham Knights, uh, you know, when they did the reveal trailer, you're going to see uh, Jason Todd. He looks more like a mature Jason Todd, almost at around the same age as the Arkham Knights Jason Todd, but his story is going to be told differently. And so all of this is actually really interesting. And then if you look at Nightwing, Nightwing also kind of looks somewhat young in this um, you know, regard compared to, say, the Arkham Knight game. So I think this is going to be a very interesting storytelling piece in terms of these two games. Now, here's also another really interesting aspect. And the interesting aspect is Batman is supposedly presumed dead. And in the end of Arkham Knight, Batman was also presumed dead. This small similarity as well, or huge similarity, is also something that will make it somewhat interesting to kind of see how both studios are able to tell their story. Now, where there might be some speculation, or I would say room for speculation, is the fact that in the Suicide Squad game in the trailer, we haven't seen Batman. We saw Green Lantern, Flash, Wonder Woman, Superman, and the, you know, the Suicide Squad themselves, including Amanda Waller, but we haven't necessarily seen if Batman is in this game. Now, again, Batman is part of this universe. He's basically, in my opinion, the originator of this universe. So here's what I think. I think you have the Suicide Squad pretty much, you know, basically finding themselves in a situation where they're, you know, pretty much released from Arkham Asylum to go for this mission. And I think this mission is basically set up or their encounters anyways, seem to be set up in Metropolis more than, say, you know, Arkham or Gotham in that sense. So I think that's what's going to happen. It's going to be some sort of a fusion. So Batman may or may not be in the Suicide Squad game. And there is a very perfectly logical way to write him not in the whole mix or in the whole mix, if you get what I mean. So I think that's probably where we're going to see things, because if you put Batman in there, I think it'd probably be a, maybe a DLC type thing, maybe something that extends the story. But these are just hypothetical aspects. And I guess my time is up. I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about this um, interesting setup so far where the Suicide Squad game is setting itself in the Arkhamverse, whereas the Gotham Knights game is setting itself in a whole different universe that Warner Brothers Games Montreal is trying to build? Talk to me in the comment section. I appreciate you guys so much. Hopefully, we'll talk in another video. Peace out.